Hello and welcome to Happy Hour with Ina Sarkar. This show is all about getting deeper into the lives of successful people and to really understand what it took for them to be a star and how they deal with it at the top. So stay tuned. We all love jiving, jiving to great music and what better than Indian Bollywood mixes. We are talking to somebody who's going to bring you best music ever in the Bay Area. Talking to Rahul, Rahul tell me what does it really take to be a good DJ? I think most importantly the song selection, reading the crowd and then transitioning the music fluently. I think that's the most important three keys for a good DJing night. Now how do you get the beat of the people? Like you know people are strolling, how do you get them to start dancing? So if it's a it's a new place where you have never played before then probably takes about like 30-40 minutes to you know get a, read the crowd basically. But if you are a resident DJ you know what kind of crowd usually comes, you know what to expect. Of course there is like about 30-40% of uh, homework that you do before coming to an event. I think once you're there, uh, you read the crowd and then you experiment a bit initially and once people are like, uh, you know, dancing to it, then you know like what kind of music to play. Now tell me something, I mean, we are all getting used to these pre-mixes that come, you know, your Spotify, your YouTube, you have different mm -hmm. places, they just take a playlist and you go with yeah. that. How different is that from having a live DJ? I know whenever people advertise live DJ, everyone gets more excited, mm -hmm. but don't we get the same music from other playlists? No, I think the music could be the same, but I think the sequence also matters, right? For example, if you're at home, of course, you can listen to any Spotify playlist or something. But if you are at a nightclub or a private event or a wedding, right, you have like probably a couple of hours, three hours for the audience to actually, you know, have fun. So in that case, I think the song selection, as I said, is very important. So right now, if I'm like uh, at a Bollywood uh, night and if I'm playing, say, hip hop music, then even though if I'm playing really good hip hop music, the audience might not like it, right? Even though the playlist is pretty amazing. But then I think understanding the music, the crowd, and then transitioning it fluently, that's what is really important. Now, how how do you keep your energy up? I mean, you have to energize so many people, right? right? You have to first energize yourself. How do you do that? I actually feed uh, from the crowd, basically. I feed on them. So if they are showing good energy, I get really pumped up and then I think my music speaks for itself there. But if it's like the crowd is a bit low, then I would try to like lay upbeat music and see if they're responding well to it. And if they are, then that is really helpful. And of course, the drinks also help the crowd. Tell us about an experience that you remember about DJing and, you know, something that will stay with you forever. I think this this year, like uh, the holy event, we were actually, I was DJing in uh, San Francisco. It was actually a rooftop party and uh, we had about 500 people over there. And once the night was over, uh, they didn't want to go. And I had so many people who literally came and hugged me, took photos of me. I thought I just played okay, but then uh, they actually were so happy about it and they didn't want to leave the place. Uh, that was like a memorable night for me, for sure. Well, tell me what took you to be a DJ? I mean, what did you really have in you? That so I actually started as a promoter uh, in Bay Area and then I started DJing about eight nine years ago and of course like I loved music uh, all my life and uh, if you look at it hindsight I would never uh, believe that would be a DJ in future but then I bought a controller for myself and I started uh, DJing in my bedroom and almost for a year I practiced and then my friends actually told me like you know you should go and play outside like you know for the public and then I tried and then actually people responded to it so ever since then like uh, not looking back. Now how big is that market? I mean do you stay pretty busy? Yes actually pretty much like every every week I have gigs. I'm actually open for my DJ I play different genres of music uh, house, hip-hop, uh, Bollywood, Punjabi and so on. I think 10 years back uh, the market was still busy but I I think the last uh, four five years, I think it's tremendously increased. Now tell us a little bit about Bollywood influence on DJ. Do you do that to mainstream audience and they take to it, or yeah, for sure. Bollywood like even is just confined to India. No, so even when I am playing, say for the mainstream audience, I do throw in a couple of uh, Bollywood numbers, and people do respond to it actually. But of course, like if it's repetitive and you keep playing for like uh, half an hour, so then probably people may not enjoy as much. But if you surprise them with a couple of good tracks, and I think uh, Bollywood right now is like a global accepted. So a lot of songs are like even mainstream audience uh, know about it. So it definitely What's your helps. favorite song? In Bollywood or? Yeah. Actually I'm a big fan of Bacha. So any Bacha song is good for me. Now what do you do to relax when you've done with a very intense DJ night? I would still listen to music and download music. I don't watch TV at all. In my free time I'm either listening to music or downloading music. That's what I do to relax. That's great. I'm excited about the DJ night. Absolutely. You're looking uh, forward to in, it. In a couple of hours. Yeah. And uh, I, I'd see how you 
mix music and how you bring Bollywood and make it mainstream. Absolutely. Looking forward to it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Well, viewers, if you like our meaningful conversation and our new content, follow us on all our social platforms. Right here.